Oh, I don't know. She's obviously got herself into a right mess with it all, hasn't she? Yes, well, Leanne's been through a lot lately, and she? And, you know, Simon is like any other teenager. He's gonna be fine. Yeah. Well, I think I'm gonna go and see him anyway. Do you think I could get a taxi over there? I'm not even sure if I could walk the hundred yards, to be honest. Well, then don't. OK, just leave it for today. Well, no. Actually, I think a walk will do me good. I can take it steady, can't I? Peter. All right, just... I'm just a bit dizzy. Is that all it is? You think I've been drinking, don't you? But I don't know. You've been... been going for walks all hours of the night. You know, you're stumbling all over the place. What am I supposed to think? If you have been drinking, Peter, you need to tell me now because this is serious. Stop speaking to me like that. I haven't been drinking, OK? Not last night and not today. I'll tell you what I have been doing. I've been lying in bed night after night, wide awake, and I've been doing a flaming zebra jigsaw to keep my mind off having a large glass of scotch. This is hard. I'm struggling, Carla. I'm really struggling. Is that what you wanted to hear? I'm sorry. I need you to trust me. OK? Please. I don't need any extra stress. <sighs> Oi, got a minute? For you? Yeah. Right, I'll get straight to the point. Simon, leave him alone. Sorry, who are you again? I'm his evil stepmother. I'm so scared. You should be. See, I know what's been going on, Jacob, OK? And I don't want Simon hanging around with someone like you. Little Miss Music Box blab, did she? Who? Size mum. She's, uh, well, she's not my biggest fan. <laughs> she's not the only one. So you've heard me, yeah? Yep. You being Simon's mate, that stops now. No can do. Saws. <sighs> you know what, Jacob? I've known lads like you all my life. You're just a little boy playing at being a big, scary gangster, and it's a joke, all right? And you might be able to intimidate Leanne, but you do not scare me. You and Simon, it stops now. Or what? Or you'll regret it. Simon's a good kid. We get on really well, like... He tells me things, you know, about his poor little brother and Dad trying to top himself. So what? So as if I'm not shaking with fear, but I don't think you're going to do anything. Because if you did, you might regret it. Or Simon, or, or his loser dad, or his messed up mum. This is way bigger than you think. So I'd keep your mouth shut if I were you. You off out? Nothing gets past you, does it? Hey, I'm going to go and see if I can try and find Sai. I think there's something going on. How do you mean? Well, when I tried to ring him earlier, he seemed a bit, I don't know, a bit stressed. What did Leanne actually say to you? Just that she was a bit worried about him, you know, catching up on his coursework. Right, and that's all she said, is it? Mm. Yeah. yeah. I think everybody's a bit anxious about the kids falling behind at the moment, aren't they? No, I think I'm going to go and see him anyway. Well, th there's no point. Sorry, is there a reason you don't want me to go and see him? No. Yes, there is. I'm not stupid, you know. You think I'm going to make a detour to the office, don't you? No. Yes, you do. No. Carla, look. If I wanted to have a drink, I would have a drink, and there is nothing you could do about it, OK? Yes, I'm well aware of that, Peter, but you know what? The only way you're going to get better is if you stop worrying about everybody else and start looking after yourself. OK, and... If you must start, I've just been to see Simon. OK, and he's fine. College is fine. Everything's sorted. Hey, what would I do without you? I don't know. Everything you already do, probably. And you wouldn't have to hide it. Yeah. 
Thanks for coming. What do you want? I had a word with Simon's mate earlier. Yeah, I heard. He's a nasty piece of work, isn't he? Listen, um, I really wanted to apologize for earlier. Yeah, I'm, I'm worried about Peter, but I'm being selfish. I realize this is, this is serious. And uh, although I still would really like to keep Peter out of it for now, I think we should go to the police. Leanne, just tell them what's going on, you know? I'll come with you. Come on, I think Sai could do with having a scare, you know? Maybe Craig could have a word with him. No, there's no need. I've, I've sorted it now. What do you mean? Well, I spoke to uh, Jacob, and I threatened to go to the police myself if he didn't leave Sai alone. Well, and that worked? Well, he's backed off. Really? Are you sure? Because he doesn't seem like the type of kid to just roll over. Yeah, well, he's all mouth in it. Anyway, he's gone. He's sorted. You don't need to worry about it. Okay. Listen, do you want me to come up and have a word with Sai on his own? Uh, no, 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 he's fine. You, you just go back to Peter and make sure he's OK. Well, any other problems with that kid, if he comes back, let me know. We'll go to the police together. Look after yourself, Leanne. Uh, can I get you anything? Uh, no, darling. Hey, do you think if anybody would mind if I had a bath? Is it that time of year already? <laughs> you know what I mean? It's not my house, isn't it? I'm sure nobody would mind if you had a bath, love. Mm. It's nice to see you in a good mood. To see you nice. Hey, listen. If I am in a better mood, it's down to you. Thanks for sorting that thing out we saw earlier. And also, thanks for everything you're doing for me. I appreciate it. Probably don't say it often enough, but... Hmm. Thank you. Hey, do you need the loo? What am I, 92? Well, I'm just... I'm going for a bath, aren't I? I'm asking if you need the toilet. I'll go in the yard. No, you won't. I'm kidding. <laughs> You're going to be all right for a bit on your own? You do, don't you? You think I'm drinking again? No. Did I say Look, that? Just go have your bath, love, and let me crack on with this, eh? Please. <laughs> 